YouTube, what's up? Time for another video. So as you can see from the title of this video, uh, it'll most likely say another business, question mark. And uh, I think I'm gonna start something else up. <laughs> so let's, uh, I wanna rewind first and kind of try to go over the thought process of how this happened, or I guess how my ideas for formulate anyway. So rewinding back to Feeders Unlimited when it first started, Paul and I had the concept, the idea that we were going to breed feeder rodents for reptile breeders in stores, and we would be a distribution and wholesaling company. That was the initial idea. However, as it grew and as time went on and things evolved, it turned into us running a retail store as well as a uh, distribution distributor, distribution shop, store, business, whatever. And so now we have a retail store, right? So it's that was never the intent. That was never the goal. I'm that actually very introverted. And so as, uh, as well as I think I do with people, I, I actually prefer to be in the back end of things. And I think that's, you've, if you're a customer, you've probably noticed that I'm not upfront as much anymore. Um, it's, I think I'm good at it, but I just, it's not, it takes a lot of energy away from me. And I try to keep my energy to myself for the most part. I, I like to be selfish with it. And um, yeah, so with business ideas, they tend to evolve. And also it takes time. So from the time that Paul and I started at my old house in the laundry room to the time that we first took a paycheck and made took money in, it was three years. It was three years of growing and grinding and talking and building and building and building and growing and headaches and it took some time. So um, with this new business idea that I'm about that I'm about to talk about, I want this to be the starting point of documenting how long it takes because this isn't gonna be set up and established in the next two or three months, maybe not even six months, maybe not even a year, but this is the beginning. This is where it starts and it'll be kind of cool to look back on this video and the current idea and concept of it to see what it becomes. And so I kind of want to start documenting that and also talk about it and how it comes to fruition. So let's fast forward to present day. So. I typically enjoy working late at night. So Feeder Shack, for example, our online brand was built pretty much between 9 p.m. and 2 a.m. in the morning when I tend to be a little bit more active and my brain's firing and I'm doing my computer thing. So that entire thing was built after hours, essentially. And one of the things that I don't have currently is a comfortable office space where I can work out of. So it's pretty much been from my couch and my chair that I've built this online site for the shop. And uh, I'm kind of over it, I guess. I wanna have a space, I wanna have my own desk with my own little bonsai and whatever, little knickknacks and trinkets and whatever. I just want, I want my own space. Plus it doesn't help that I live in this kind of dingy uh, basement unit. It's kind of dark all the time. <laughs> and that's not exactly the most motivating thing either, so. So what that leads me is to looking to for real estate uh, office units to rent out. So I've had this idea in my head that this year I wanted to uh, sign a lease, a one-year lease on a small office space somewhere in town where I can go to after hours, 9 p.m. to 2 a.m. in the morning, whatever it may be, and I can continue working on Feeder Shack and get back into the writing and blogging side of things. More of a creative endeavor, I, you, you could say. And so this led me to last week finding a space, or maybe this was two weeks ago, finding a space in downtown Greeley that was relatively inexpensive. And I called him to, to figure out what I needed to do to sign the lease. And turns out someone beat me to it. So I asked what other spaces they have, and they have another space that's a little larger, but it's about twice the cost. So the way my mind works is instead of, well, that's not going to work, it goes towards how do I make it work? And the difference the difference that I guess I wouldn't I was <laughs> what was outside of my budget was roughly about $500 that I just wasn't budgeting for and really can't afford right now to spend so my mind goes to how can I make up $500 in a month like what do I need to do to uh, build that revenue stream also what can I do to build that revenue stream in the time that I have allotted between 9 p.m. and 2 a.m. in the morning so Fast forward a week later, so this is what, two weeks ago, I was having a beer and reading a book, and I said, how cool would it be to, on Twitter, how cool would it be to have a 
uh, used bookstore slash brewery. I got some positive feedback. I was like, that was cool. And um, I was thinking about that a little more. Talked to the real estate guy about some different properties or different units, I guess. And then uh, I figured why not open up, why not start the process of opening up a used bookstore? What really kind of spearheaded this, because it was loosely forming in my head, was there was a thread on a really private Facebook group about just people that live in town. And the, the, the thread was, uh, we need a bookstore. There's no bookstore. There's no used bookstore. There's no Barnes and Nobles. We have over 100,000 people in the area and it should be a thing. And so obviously I don't have the time to run a, a proper bookstore from at regular hours, but I do know that a lot of book lovers tend to be night owls, which is what I am. So I uh, reached out to, uh, to my uncle and we've kind of been developing this, this idea of a late night used bookstore. And of course this is going to evolve and this is going to grow and change. And this is why I'm documenting this because this officially, this official use a bookstore concept idea and trying to make it happen uh, officially started on January 31st, I'll say. So this video is a few days late, but I wanted to make it because I want to start talking about it. And I want you to, I mean, I guess you don't have to do anything, but I personally want to document the process. And for people who are curious as to building a business and what it takes and what you need to do, this is going to be, I'm going to start making these videos. And so I don't have the space. We haven't found a, a unit yet. Preferably, we're going to try to find something downtown. Um, I'm not sure about my uncle's schedule and time, so I'm not sure how involved he'll be. Uh, but he's big into this space as well, which is pretty awesome. But the new business is going to be Greeley's new used bookstore, and only used bookstore, unless someone beats me to it, which in that case, uh, I'll be their competitor. <laughs> so... Um, yeah, kind of excited. First steps, and I've done this, I don't know how many times with various online brands, the first steps that we've taken already is we locked in the social media handles. So this isn't an official business with the state or any or the city or anything yet. This is literally in its infancy. And the first steps um, that we took is we solidified Greeley Bookstore. So if you're on Instagram or Facebook, check out Greeley Bookstore, at Greeley Bookstore. If you are on Twitter, it's at Greeley Books because the handle really bookstore is too long, but uh, that's officially set up. If you check it out now, it's gonna be completely empty, no images, no pictures. I just wanted to lock in those handles for whenever it does take off that I don't have to uh, readjust. And this goes for, this doesn't just apply to this used bookstore. If you're trying to set up a business, I would say that's the easiest thing to do and get out of the way is to see if that idea is taken. Luckily, it really is very niche in that sense. So really bookstore wasn't a difficult one to find or have, um, but yeah. So we have that social media thing going on. I'm currently in talks with a couple of real estate guys trying to figure out what are some properties that we can look at and see and check out the square footage. And uh, if you've been following me on Instagram, I've kind of not directly been doing it, but I've been uh, purchasing books, used books, just classics and favorites. And a lot of it's kind of nostalgic books that I've read in middle school and high school and elementary. Uh, I found a Gary Paulson book uh, today, actually, which is kind of exciting. Um, and yeah, so essentially, I'm going to get my office space, and I'm going to start a used bookstore. And the used books that I sell between 9 p.m. and 2 a.m. in the morning, or whatever dates they are, it's going to be very obscure, are going to fund the additional square footage of the unit that I want so that I can get some work done. And... Um, that's the start. That's the beginning. It's going to evolve into who knows what, but that's the initial concept. So if you have any questions uh, or you're interested in it, follow us at Grilly Bookstore. We'll take donations, um, suggestions, recommendations. I'm good at finding oddball stuff. So if there's something you're looking for, let me know. Um, it's kind of weird. Going to be a book dealer. <laughs> but um, yeah, next step is I'll probably set up a website in the next uh, week or two. And I'll at least throw on maybe 50 to 100 used books that I have personally for sale. And uh, I can make a video on that as far as pricing and, and how that works. So it's, it's per once you can buy one thing and sell it, it kind of applies to everything. It's just a matter of finding where your buyers are. So it's all, it's all business is. You get one thing and you sell it. So it doesn't matter what it is. You don't have to have a, an official 
a license. You don't have to have a business plan or a business loan. Like you can literally go to Dollar Tree and buy. It's funny they have books there. You can go to Dollar Tree and you can buy a book, an autobiography about whoever for a dollar. Put it up on eBay, sell it for five ninety nine. All day. That's all it is. It's all businesses. Um, anyway, I'm excited and um, gonna enjoy my beer. Talking about nostalgia, Tonya from Nicaragua, and let me know if you have any questions. I'll eventually tag all the stuff underneath, and um, if you're in Greeley, you'll start seeing some stuff. So, hope you all have a good night. Talk soon.